Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm in Bolton and I'm gonna re-review my most disliked video ever. Last time I did this review, I think it was about a year ago and I ordered from the Cheatham Hill branch in Manchester. I'm ready to get vulnerable. I'm ready to get hurt again. <laughs> Honestly guys, I really, 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 really didn't like it. And a chap who runs the Bolton Pepe's, He's reached out. He says he's got like a restaurant vibe, some different sort of menu items as well. He's confident that I will like it. So I said, you know what, I'll go in, impartial. If I don't like it, I'll say I don't like it. If I like it, I'll say I'll like it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google map it. I think this Pepe's is in the vault, which is in Bolton Marketplace, which I think is a shopping center. Okay guys, so we're just outside the marketplace in Bolton. We're gonna go downstairs now to the vault, which is where I think Pepe's is located. I'll be honest guys, I have no idea where I'm going, but oh, the vaults are gonna be down there, isn't it? Okay, I see escalators. It looks really nice in here actually. I'm liking all the uh, brickwork lovely in here. Now let's just find the Pepe's. Guys right just before I sit down I'm going to quickly show you around because this is so different. This is so different to the takeaway that I went to. Don't know where I'm looking I'm doing this on my mobile. I think you're there. I think yeah. I'm going to show you guys around. This looks cool man. So we've got some seating on this side which is nice and private. I like that. There you can see I'm in Pepe's. Um, the ordering till and whatnot is there. There's a couple of seats there, but I think the seating actually, it goes all the way around guys. So you can come all the way around here. As you see, we've got a ton of seating one way. We've got a ton of seat in the other. This is, this is pretty cool, I have to say. Obviously what matters is good food because you can't eat like tables, seating, seating arrangement, but it's a good start. I'm gonna order my food. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. They said they'll change my mind and it will be much, much better than my previous experience. Okay, so I've sat down. I've had a quick look at the menu. One thing I do want to highlight is that actually the menu is pretty different to the takeaway. Yes, they still have some of the classics like chicken and rice, chicken pitters, chicken burgers, that kind of stuff. However, they have some really different stuff. So they've got like a chicken waffle dish, which I think sounds really interesting. Harked back like a chicken and waffles that you'd get in like the US, but this would be like a Perry version. They've got a chicken skewer thing. It's called a chicken espetada. That's what it's called guys, a chicken espetada. So I'm going to try that. That's not in the takeaway as well. Food is on its way. I'm really excited to try this one because because the chap here says this will change my mind and I'll have a completely different opinion of Pepe's after this meal. Okay, so we are gonna start with some wings. There's a little wing platter here. They've got six flavors, 12 wings. So you've got two wings in each flavor. They go up to extreme and they go down to mild. I think what I'm gonna do is actually gonna start uh, with the extreme first. That is extremely hot. The meat as it happens is actually Really tender. <laughs> the actual skin around the wing is crispy. Super hot, it's got really, really good. Like it sounds really super hot. Well, let's go for the um, mango and lime next, just to try and cool the old mouth down. Let's go for this next. Obviously much cooler, bit of sweetness there. I'm not gonna go through all the wings because I've got quite a lot of food coming out, guys, but the actual meat quality of these wings, to be honest with you, it's pretty darn good actually. A little bit surprised with that. I'm kind of sold on the extreme sauce. I think I would get a portion of those. Listen, Pepe, she did good wings. Congratulations. It's all about the mains. Decent start, but it's all about the mains. So yeah, ooh, spice is kicking in. All right, okay, so I've actually gone for the chicken and waffles, which this is, a, <laughs> this is a pretty interesting concept because I've had chicken and waffles before. What I haven't had is peri chicken and waffles. And not only that, the actual waffles have peri salt in the batter, right? So they should be peri flavored. And there's a little bit of sweetness from the uh, golden syrup on top. As you can see actually in the corner, we've got an espetada, which is a big skewer with like peppers, onions, and chicken as well, which looks so theatrical. You don't get this in a takeaway. Okay, let's try the chicken to start because originally when I went, I just, I just I got, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Like, so this is the chicken breast. These places are such varying quality, but this chicken is so much nicer than the Cheatham Hill branch. This is soft. 
is flavored well. Big piece of chicken actually as well. Super healthy, ton of protein, really succulent. So much more succulent than the one that I had before. But we've got a lot of food to go yet before I give you my final thoughts because you know, some of the stuff I had last time, like the burger, but let's try actually, let's try this waffle. So this waffle has got some peri salt in there, some golden syrup on top. So I want a little bit of spice, I want a bit of sweetness, I want a combination of the two. It's coming. Hey man, that, I have never ever had anything like this in my life. There's a bit of spice in there. There's a bit of sweetness from the syrup. The actual waffle is nice and crispy as well and airy, it's airy. It's like eating a, a, a pillow. It's, it's airy, okay? <laughs> Honestly though, that waffle is, is actually genuinely, look, I can admit it when I'm wrong. That is, that, that's just a hey man, that's, that's, that, that's really good. That is actually very good. However, that's just one item. Got plenty more to go. I didn't like the burger last time. I didn't like a variety of things. So we've got plenty more food to go before I give my final verdict. Let's move over now. Look at this. Look at this. There's always one guy in the comments who tells me I never show enough food shots. Look, this is literally in the shot now. <laughs> I don't know how to really attack this. Um, from the bottom, maybe? Can I take that off? No. Ooh, I can take it off, I think. Like this. Oh no, it's going everywhere. Hold on, hold on. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Throw sauce, it's going everywhere. Don't do that. I'm actually going to use my fork. So this skewer does come with uh, some boiled veg. There's some peri mash there as well. So overall, an incredibly healthy meal. Let's try this macros on point. Yeah, that's another really good dish. Um, yeah, I mean, in my defense, the takeaway doesn't have this kind of stuff, right? I think this is quite unique in regards to it being a sit down restaurant vibe. I think there's one in London like this and there's one here in Bolton. So only a couple in the country. Um, so that in itself, delicious. I'll definitely have that again. Also, as a side note, if you can make something healthy and delicious, you're onto a winner. They do a beef burger here. Now this is a double patty beef burger, handmade, gourmet. I'm gonna give that a go. I tried the burger from the previous, in the previous video and I really did not like it. So this one is very, very, uh, different just sort of visually from that it's a lot larger it looks more gourmet you know it looks more gourmet so i'll definitely give it a go that is perfectly serviceable if you're with friends and you're all getting chicken but there's someone that wants to get a beef burger that is a perfectly serviceable beef burger and the sweet potato fries they really tasty too how nice is it in here i really like just the setting this is the vaults in bolton yeah, the main shopping center is called the Marketplace, I believe. First time I've come here, I just Googled it. This is the vaults. It looks exactly the same. I, I, I hear, I don't know if this is correct, but they've pretty much left it untouched. You see like the original brickwork in here. It's actually a really nice little sit down environment. Okay, I think this was one of the things that annoyed people the most. In the last review, I did not get the chicken and rice. So I've definitely made sure to get that this time. They are not messing around with portion sizes. So I'm gonna attack that first. I've also got the chicken pitta. It's got some corn on the cob there as well. And the cheesiest garlic bread I think I've ever seen in my entire life. So I'm gonna try that too. It's the mighty mech. It's actually a Tasca bread. I think it's pronounced Tasca, T-A-S-C-A, -A. Tasca bread. This is the Mighty Mex. This looks actually crazy good. I've never seen anything like this before. I'll get to that in a second for sure. First thing I'm gonna go for, however, is the chicken rice, then I'm gonna go for the pitta, then I'm gonna go for the Mighty Mex, because again, that is super unique, super different. I've not seen that before. Right, let's try that chicken rice. That's the lemon herb one. I'm getting a variety of different flavors. The rice is really good. The chicken is incredibly soft. The lemon comes through nicely, but it's not overpowering, which lemon can be. That is, oh, do you know what? I'm so glad I came today because I've been putting this video off for like a year. But really impressed with the chicken rice. Really enjoyed that. Let's move on to the pitta. There's so much food looking at me and I really want to get to that mighty mix because I've never tried a Tasca bread before. So quite excited to try that actually. It looks really good, looks different. The dough looks really nice. Let's go for all. I've noticed something here guys, tomato. My fault, because it comes with tomatoes, but I always forget, for some reason, I don't know why, I always forget to ask the people wherever I go, just to not have tomatoes. I don't know how I forget that. 
The chicken pitta is good. It's tasty, it's perfectly serviceable. It is a nice chicken pitta. For me though, I think the chicken rice is phenomenal. I like the espatada and the actual waffles. Oh, the waffles were just, ah, oh, they were, hey man, they were amazing. I'm actually now gonna move on to the tasca because I've just, it's been looking at me. It's looking at me. So this is something a little bit different. Not had it before, so I'm actually gonna read off the menu, guys. So uh, class in session. <laughs> Let's try this. So this is strips of tender flame grilled chicken with salsa, sour cream, jalapenos, cheese, guacamole, topped off with hot sriracha sauce, all encased in a tasty tasca. Bread, therefore, is a, is a tasca. Uh, it's got a more of a, a soft feel to it rather than something like, I don't know, like maybe a, a, a pitta. It definitely feels softer, but I think the cheese that they've grilled on top, you can just about see that, guys, is giving it a little bit of texture. Let's uh, give that a go. Oh. That's one of the most flavorful things I think I've ever eaten. There's a little bit of cheese, which has been cooked on the bottom of the bread, which gives it a, almost like a cheese crisp type taste. The meat itself is tender. I'm loving the combination of the jalapenos, the salsa, the guacamole. Sorry, the stuff all over me because oh, it's good food, messy food, you know. There's so many flavors hitting me at one time. This is... Oof. The Tasco is a proper surprise. This is not something that I've ever seen before. I did not see in the takeaway. I think this is unique to the sit down experience, which again, London, Manchester, London, Bolton, they're the two places you can get it. Guys, get this. This is getting a massive hay man. This has earned it. The flavors, just the, the flavors are so good. The salsa, the guacamole, the chicken, the actual spiciness there as well. It's got, I think, the, the mild sauce in there. The cheese on top of the bread. The actual bread itself is unique. I've never had that before. Excitement levels are super high. I need a second with my appetizer just to calm down. <laughs> just a quick mention, really, the chips, they have changed their supplier and I think they're much, much better. I'll personally get the chips for sure and get corn on the cob. It's just one of my goatees. Super sweet. It just goes well. A little bit of veg. It goes well, I think, with like chips and like a chicken pit up. Something along those lines. Oh, ooh. The chicken tasker. Try this, try this. Oh, and try the waffles, man. Honestly, I'm telling you guys, those two items have got a hey, man. I've loved like other stuff as well, for sure. Um, if I think something's really tasty, like an eight, I'll just say it's like a really, really tasty, but hey, man's reserved for nine and above. The chicken tasker, the uh, chicken rice, and also the um, the chicken waffles. Oh. Something I have not mentioned as of yet, a lot of the food here, in my opinion, is seasoned really well. The sauces go really, really well with the chicken. You can, of course, pick your flavors. They do, however, have actual sauces. So for example, I mentioned the extreme uh, wing earlier. That's like a marinade on that wing. That's extremely hot. They have that as an actual sauce. So if you've got like a, I don't know, like a mild piece of chicken and you wanted a little bit of extreme sauce, you could do that. Personally, I think the food is seasoned well. It's marinated really well. It's, it's like saucy enough, if you will, for me. So personally, I do not, in general, I don't like drowning my food with sauces. It's just a personal thing. But if you were one of those people and you like to swim in sauce or you like to have a Sunday roast and it's got like swimming in gravy, that kind of stuff, you can do that if you wish. They've got bottles on the sides of their table. Right, so just like any normal civilized chap, I'm gonna finish my meal with desserts. This is the sweet waffle rather than the spicy waffle I had before, like the peri waffle. And I keep going on about it, but that one just smacked me out of left field. That was so good, that was so good. But uh, let's try this. This has got uh, some chocolate sauce on there. Uh, it's got some ice cream. These are all made fresh in-house as well. I don't know what it is about the waffles here. Whoever's making the waffles here is nailing it. He's absolutely nailing it because that is incredibly light, incredibly soft. I wish you guys could see how light and just like crispy it is. It almost like just breaks apart, but in like an amazing way. Hand on my heart, guys. I don't give them out lightly and I really don't give them out often, but that is getting a hay. Man, that has got to be one of the crispiest softest, airiest waffles I've ever tried. Okay guys, final thoughts times. That was so not what I expected. I was kind of half expecting to go in and I didn't think I would be as negative as my previous experience because I've heard really good reviews for this specific Pepe's. And there's always a little bit of variation between franchises, branches, things like that. People told me this one was good. So I didn't think it would be as negative as my previous one. And by the way, the details for this one are in the description, this branch. But I did not think you'd get three Heymans. Oh yeah, I was kind of blown away by a lot of the food. 
I really enjoyed it. As always, I make sure that the food for me comes out like it does for everyone else. And I had a little nosy, um, <laughs> other people's food. And I met some new people that way. I just, just walked up and said hi to people. So, so I know it's kind of the same as everyone else's. So that's, I think, really important as a reviewer. If you're gonna review food that it needs to be at the same level as everyone gets, right? So it's kind of the point, really. Um, so yeah, overall, just really, really, really impressed. Would happily recommend this specific branch. Uh, do check them out. If you like this kind of content, guys, I've got a ton more content coming in Bolton. So like the video, you know to do that because it increases exposure to the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.